Hello friends, welcome to our channel and in this video we will learn about the use of VLOOKUP and data validation. We have the certain data which includes the employee ID, name, department, the hiring date and the sample salary. What we need to do here, we simply need to write here the employee ID and it will automatically give the remaining data. We have also used here restricted function like we can select the employee ID from the list or you can insert the data as well. But if you insert the data or the employee ID which is not available in the list, it will give us error. This is how you can restrict the data and get the remaining data as well. So we'll start and discuss this type of example. But before that, you are requested to please share like and subscribe to our So let's start our example. We have the data which includes the employee ID, employee name, department, hiring date and the last one is sample salary. And we have the similar data here. We simply need to insert the employee ID and we will get the remaining data here. We use here the two functions. The first one is the VLOOKUP function and the second one is data validation. So we use here the both functions and for the employee ID, we use the first function which is the data validation. So we select the cell in which we want to use the data validation option and we need to go here in the tab which is the data and in the data you can see here the data validation option i just click on it and after that you can see here the list option i just click on it and it requires the source for the source we simply need to select the whole employee id list and then press ok now you can see here it gives us the employee ID. I can select the employee ID but it restricts us to select from the given options like if I use the employee ID which is not available it comes an error but if I insert or if I type the employee ID which is available it will accept it. This is how we can restrict the data by using the data validation. Now the second function is VLOOKUP. So for the VLOOKUP, we select the cell in which we want to use the VLOOKUP. Now equals to VLOOKUP, bracket open. VLOOKUP function requires certain instructions for the first one is VLOOKUP value. So it requires the cell which it wants to look up. So we select the employee ID, then comma. It requires the table array, so we select the whole table, then comma, it says column, so employee name is in the second column, so we give to a last column zero for the exact match. But before closing it, we need to make it constant to avoid any confusion or avoid any error. Now I press here OK, so we get the employee data. Now, I simply use the same function here. What we can do, we simply again use here VLOOKUP and bracket open. Again, I select the employee ID, then comma, table array. I just select the whole table array, comma. It says column, so department is in the third column. And then zero, bracket close. But we need to make it constant and then press OK. We get the department as well. Or you can track this formula and make some changes in it. Like for the employee, you need to select this cell. And then for the department or hiring date, we need to change to 4. We get this function. And again, simply need to change the employee ID. And then we need to change the samples 
salary, which is in the fifth column. So I write here fifth and enter. We get the salary as well. And to change the format, we can change the format by going manually or you can use the format center. I simply select the whole format, go here in the home tab and here the format picture I simply need to use here. This is how we get the format as well. Now we can test our formula as well. Like if I select the first employee which is 1001 so you can see here John and the salary is 50,000. Now if I write the last one which is 1019 and press here enter so you can see here the cargo the employee belonging to the IT department, the hiring date and the sample salary. This is how you can use the VDCOP function and the data validation to restrict and use the similar data. If you face any confusion in this video, please write in our comments.